What a way to start the 2020 Global Series. Our top three riders covered by less than a second. If we've got another seven races like that over the next coming weeks and months, we're definitely in for a treat. Our reigning 2019 champion, Andrew ZH, starting life with a podium, which of course is a couple of places lower down than where he was in 2019. Picked up a race win to start his year last year. So Andrew, what's the difference between 2019 and 2020? for you yeah i'm happy to start the season with uh, this podium uh, it's very important to keep uh, all the most important points for the start of the championship uh, the race was so difficult because uh, adrian trust uh, christian and also the other riders are very fast the level was very high so i'm happy and uh, also because in this game uh, to stay behind another rider is uh, uh, it's difficult and also to, to overtake is not easy, but uh, I'm happy and uh, now I will try to give uh, my match in Jerez. And of course, fond memories in Jerez as well for you because that's where you picked up the 2019 championship. But it looks like you've got another fight on your hands in 2020. Our only ever two-time champion, Trastevere, is in the mix once again. You definitely can't count out Mr. Two-Time. He certainly can't. He's looking as strong as ever, Jack. Trastevere, it looked like it was quite a difficult race for you. You did start life one better than you did in 2019. It was a little battle at the start, but is there anything that you learned in that race to take forward into race? Two in a ref? Uh, yes, for sure. The, the, the start now is uh, is better than last year, and uh, I, I'm really happy to to do this second place. Uh, at the, in the qualifying, I wrong something. Uh, for sure, I I could uh, start a little bit in front. But uh, by the way, the, the race was very difficult in this game. Like uh, like Andrew says. Uh, uh, it's very difficult to stay behind another rider. The, the bike moved a lot, but uh, for the rest, I'm really happy. Adrian was so fast. Congratulations, also Andrew, uh, and was great also the bagarre with uh, with uh, Christian at the start of the race, the first lap. Uh, I'm I'm really happy. I'm really happy to start with uh, this, sec this second position. Really happy for Yamaha. And it uh, was difficult because stay in the middle between uh, uh, Adrian and Andrew uh, was uh, <laughs> so difficult. But at the end, uh, really, really happy. Now, see you at it. And of course, Jack, it was that little battle at the start that possibly just allowed Williams Adrian to get away. Yeah, it certainly did. It allowed him to escape and pick up a first ever MotoGP eSport race win. Before today, he'd never even had a pole position. He'd never even had a podium, but he walks away from our first race at Mugello with a podium, never mind a podium, with a race win and a pole position as well. And KTM's first ever win in MotoGP, kind of. So, Adrian, how does it feel to be a MotoGP race winner? Uh... Thanks. Uh, I am very happy because it's my first victory in the championship. The was uh, the race was very difficult because uh, Trastevere and Andrew uh, were behind all the race, but I'm very happy to this victory and uh, and to start leading the championship. And I will try to do my best in Jerez. Of course, the top three in yesterday, yesterday's, last year's championship covered by absolutely nothing. So those opening five points over Trust Evere and nine over Andrew ZH could be crucial. And of course, it helps to beat your brother as well. I think he's just having a quick word there with his uh, younger brother, just letting him know who the best one in the household.